Hello everybody, Logan here, and I just wanted to talk about the beard, you know, the beard, and what I'm doing to cultivate mine. Now, June 2nd will be my three-year anniversary, my three years on testosterone, and in the past couple of months, I've only really seen a real burst of facial hair. Um, and I'm impatient, I've wanted a beard since I was five, so I happened to stumble across um, guys using minoxidil on their face to cultivate their beard. And if that's if it's making you go, what's minoxidil? I'm sure everyone's heard of Rogaine. Um, it's for men and women, put on their bald spots, It'll, it does work to grow hair, um, and make you feel better, right? Well, some guys have been, uh, over the past couple of years, decided to use it on their face because they've always wanted beards too, which it's patchy, whatever. And I'm talking, I stumbled across this from a cisgender guy. So, um, I looked into it more. There's other uh, trans guys who uh, have videos on here that have been using it over time. I, I highly recommend you go check them out. And, uh, so I'm just going to get into it. So I got this stuff here. Hopefully you can see it. I got it online through Amazon, and if I remember, I'll put the link in the description where you can get this. You can get this stuff, not the Kirkland brand, at least in my area in Michigan. Uh, you can get Rogaine, and you can get like store brands of it, um, and it'll be like a one month or a three month supply you can get, and it'll cost you like like I think the three month supply of like the Rogaine was like forty some bucks, and I got this through Amazon a year supply for like fifty. So. Uh, if you're struggling for cash or whatever and you want to do this, you go online and you get like the Kirkland brand. I don't know that any brand is better than the other. I think what's important is that it has minoxidil. Now this is the 5% minoxidil. And what it has is, I'll open it so you can see, is this one I got is has a little dropper and it's one milliliter. Now what it says to do is one milliliter, you rub it on the area. Okay, so like if you want to do it on your head, you do it there. You rub it in, you leave it there for four hours, and you wash it off. However, if you forget and you leave it on overnight, that's cool. Like I've done that so many times because I'm fucking lazy. Um, and uh, I've only been doing it once a day because I'm fucking lazy. I think there have been like one or two days where I did it twice. Um, as far as, you know, my, my skin is, you know, getting dry spots, a little ashy. Um, I just use some um, aftershave for sensitive skin like a lotion and I rub that in and I leave it on and, and you know that helps. I did get a little acne here and there, not a lot, um, so that is something to consider. Now, if you were to use Rogaine on your head you will grow hair and the thing that everyone knows is once you stop taking it, it falls out. That is the nature of the, um, the hair follicles in the head. I'm not going to go into the science of it, you can google it, <laughs> um, but apparently in the face it's a bit different. Uh, there have been a lot of guys who, you know, they stop using, they get the beard they want, they stop using it, and a year later, nothing's fallen out. Maybe there are a small percentage of guys who lose some of their beard hair, um, but everyone I've seen, you know, once it started growing and working for them, that's that. So I did start February 10th, and I just want to make this video to let you know that I will be uploading videos concerning this. So if you're curious to see how my progress goes, feel free to bookmark my page, you can follow my page, I don't care, my YouTube, whatever. Um, this is where I'll be posting them. Now, I have trimmed, since I took it, like, I started, let me see, February 10th, and today is Sunday the 25th of February, 2018, just in case you're watching this like a year later or something. Um, so I haven't been on it super long, but I still wanted to say that I think I am going to stick with it because I haven't... Uh, issue, had any severe issues, but if ever I do, I will stop. I'm going to give it six months, and if I don't see any real changes that I think are from the minoxidil, then I will stop. Other than that, I'm committed to a year, because um, that's about what you need um, from what I've heard from other guys. So, I have trimmed twice. I have noticed that it is growing faster, and one of the things that you'll find is when you first, first start getting into your system, you go to wash your hair and a lot of it will fall out. You know, it's just shedding. That's that's natural. That happens. That hair will typically come back. Like, you don't have to worry about, like, oh, my God, I'm fucking going bald. Like, don't worry about it. It'll come back. It's just a shedding process. Happens. Okay. So I trimmed today. And I don't even know if you can see anything, but I got a bit of a mustache. 
Okay, I got a little bit, it's like blonde shit. Um, this is where things are really good. And so I, you know, I have it all here. I got this and then this side, hopefully you can see. Um, this is what I got and I'm going to keep it short and trim so it's even but also I want to be able to rub the oil in very easily. I don't want to miss any skin because I have a long hair, long hair somewhere that's not letting me get it in. Okay. Um, there are guys out there who do, I think they call it derma rolling and when I first heard it I'm like what the fuck are they saying and if you're amongst those people I will tell you what it is. What it is is it's this little roller and it's uh, like this handheld roller on the end. And so the roller is usually about this big and it's got all these little needle spikes on the whole thing. And you'll roll that on your skin and it puts little holes, right? And it makes it so that um, your body will start the healing process. So you really it's made for scar tissue. But guys have been using it here um, to wake the skin up and then they'll put the they'll put the minoxidil on it and they, it'll absorb better. I don't know. I'm not doing that. I don't know if I ever will. The idea of t poking tiny holes in my skin, uh, it, it doesn't feel comfortable to me. I have sensitive skin. I think I would be asking for trouble. But if you want to look into that more, now you know what it is. Um, but just, you know, really make sure you want to do this kind of stuff before you do it. Don't just jump on a bad wagon and be like, oh yeah, I want a fucking beard and you're only like two months, or you're like two weeks on testosterone. If you're just starting testosterone, I'd say wait at least six months. Let your body chemistry, maybe even a year before you start this stuff, but that's up to you. Um, let the testosterone get the body chemistry balanced before you add in this. Now, minoxidil originally, just for a history lesson, I guess, was given to people for hypertension, which is high blood pressure. And then they found that people were fucking getting hairy and shit, and they were like, hmm. So, if you are on medications, you know, if you have certain health complications, you are going to want to talk to your doctor before you take this. Please be safe about it. You know, safety first. So, if there are any questions, leave them down below. Um, I think I'm going to post this to my Facebook page, so you can always just send me a private message there if you're my Facebook friend and you happen to you know, find this and you're interested. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, I'll see you when, I got, when I'm a month in. Uh, I guess I should say I have been noticing it's grown faster, and I have been noticing a lot of the blonde hairs, which I think are called vellus hairs or whatever. Those are the starter, like... They're not uh, peach fuzz anymore, but they're not quite hair, but they, they're temporary. And then the, the hairs like this that are permanent are called terminal hairs. So eventually those should turn into terminal hairs, and I'm seeing them all here, here, you know. Uh, so there are more of them now than there were when, before I started that, so that's a plus. All right, thank you. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below, um, my inbox, uh, if it's, you're seeing this on Facebook, and have a great day.